Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you guys how we uh, redid our kitchen backsplash in under $150. And as a disclaimer, I am not a contractor, I am not a professional. I'm just showing you guys what we did uh, in this kitchen and not what you should be doing, what's right, what's wrong, any of that. Just my, my experience in redoing our kitchen backsplash. And it cost us a tile, thin set, uh, grout and spacers, less than $150. All right, so this is uh, my kitchen, uh, builder grade. So it came with this um, backsplash that matches the countertop. It's about six inches. And so the part where the stove stays, they, um, made that gap there I guess because um, some stoves have that back uh, but my stove does not um, we picked our own stove and so um, we don't like the look of it maybe if it was all the way through we would have kept it but the plan is to put glass uh, backsplash um, throughout the whole thing and remove that and so the backsplash we picked is a white uh, three by nine um, backsplash. I'm gonna show it to you guys. So it's pretty nice. Imagine. Wait. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try and remove this um, backsplash with the minimum amount of damage. We'll see how it goes. guys so after removing the uh, backsplash we just patched it up some um, areas that um, the backsplash took that it was um, too much everything else is pretty minimal um, you can't even um, see a difference in um, a deepness of the, of the drywall we also move the um, stove forward and put this piece of wood so we screwed it so there's um a weight on it so we can line the uh, tile on it and then what i did is i got started already cutting a couple of these um, tiles in half um, because i know i'm gonna use them here um, just to get me started um, once I get started, I'll know how big of a piece I'll need to cut on the other side. I also remove the plates, uh, the covers of the light switches, and I pull, um, I pull the, the screw out a little bit. And as I go, I'll be able to move them up forward and out of the way as I need to. And now I'm just gonna get started. So let's go.
result after all the tiles have been placed. Um, it has dried um, and now we're just going to grout it. And I'll probably let my husband do the grouting. Um, he's better at it than I am. So let's get to work. guys now the project is completed everything is done so after grouting we waited 24 hours before um, wiping it and buffing it with a cheesecloth to remove all the haze from it and we're very happy with the results this project took us about three days to complete it was pretty quick the only wait time was in between after applying the tile in between applying the tile and grouting you do need to wait 24 to 48 hours so we decided to wait the full 48 hours to be safe and then after applying the grout we waited a full 24 hours before cleaning the haze of the uh, tile and that's the only reason why um, it took a little bit longer. Um, I always like to do the full amount of uh, wait time uh, that they recommend and this looks so much better. Also before um, I forget if um, anybody wanted to know, this is what I use to patch up the little part of the drywall that got damaged when we removed the older, uh, the other backsplash. This is what we used as a thin set, a uh, tile adhesive um, with a trowel in the back to glue the tiles. And this is the grout we used, bright white. We used almost two, two uh, of these um, little tubs for the grout. We used uh, about half of this adhesive. This whole area is about I believe it was uh, 11 feet and then this is pretty standard, the height um, is about 18 inches I think, I, I can't remember, whatever the uh, standard height is between the countertop and the cabinets. And so these are the products that I used, the tile, you can um, go back in the video and see I show you the box with the glass that we chose and that's it.